This is amazing. Now we are going to see about Comfy UI. Using this, you are able to generate image. You are able to customize the way of generation using workflows. You are able to use different models such as SDXL, Flux and much more. In this, we will be seeing how you can set up Comfy UI, how you can download the Flux model and load that in the Comfy UI. Then how you can run this and generate an image, both in my local computer Mac and also in a virtual machine, Linux. Finally, we'll be integrating that with our own application using API. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can set up Comfy UI on your local computer and create images. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Comfy UI. It is the most powerful and modular stable deficient GUI and backend. You can customize your image generation techniques in more detail and also you can use this as a backend so that you can integrate this with your own application. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set this up on your computer. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first step, git clone and then this URL comfy UI and then click enter. Next navigate to the comfy UI folder. Next I'm going to create a virtual environment. This helps you to isolate your work from other projects. So in this case, I'm using Conda. So if you haven't downloaded Conda, you can download that from Conda website. After that, Conda create hyphen and comfy UI and then click enter to create the virtual environment. After this, Conda activate comfy UI. Next, we need to install some packages such as PyTorch, Torch Vision, Torch Audio. So I'm using Conda install and then installing all these packages. I will put all the information in the commands in the description below. Even in Comfy UI installation steps, you can see all these steps. So I'm following the Mac version, but if you are using AMD or Nvidia, you might need to follow those steps. It will be a slight change between these three operating systems. So after installing that, pip install hyphen our requirements.txt to install the required packages. First, we have downloaded the Comfy UI and completed our initial setup. Now step number two, download Flux model. As you're probably aware, Flux is an image generation model where you enter a text and it can automatically create stunning images like this. And also it's stopping the ELO score compared to other image generation models. So we are going to use that. So I'm going to open this Comfy UI in VS Code and you'll be able to see the folder structure like this. In this, we are going to download models inside the models folder. Inside this, we are going to download models in the checkpoints folder. So here's the flux model. So I'm going to download this file. You can either download this file and place that in the checkpoints folder or else you can copy the download link and just type wget and then models checkpoints to download this flux model inside this checkpoints folder and then click enter. Now you can see inside the checkpoints folder, I got the flux model. Now step number three is running comfy UI. To do that, coming back to your terminal, python main.py and then click enter. You can see I'm using 32 GB RAM and here is the URL. So I'm going to open this and here is the URL. So as soon as you open it, it looks like this, the user interface, but sometimes your workflow might differ. So you want to load the flux workflow. To do that, in the comfy UI examples documentation, you will see different images. So we are using this flux channel model and that is the checkpoint which we have already downloaded that and placed that in checkpoints folder. Now you need to drag this image inside the comfy UI user interface. As soon as you drag this image and place that in the comfy UI user interface, all the workflow will get loaded like this. So here you can see the model name that is the flux and the prompt. It doesn't have any negative prompt for flux model. And then you can modify the width and height of the image. So here we can see five different sections. The first is loading the model. The second step is encoder. So what this does, a large language model doesn't understand a natural language. It has its own language such as embeddings. So this encoder will convert the image into embeddings and then send that to the model. Then the model will again generate embeddings based on the prompt. So that embeddings will then get converted using decode. Then that decoded image is shown here. 
So that is the whole process. Even for any text generation model, the process is similar. So you will have an encoder, then the model generates the response, then we decode and display the result. So here the prompt is a bot with a beautiful rainbow galaxy inside. Just a note, if you're loading any other softwares apart from this comfy UI in a machine like mine, this might hang your system. It happened to me once. So make sure you close all other application and also the width and height, you might need to decrease that to get it running on a machine like mine, 32 GB RAM. But if you have high GB RAM or if you have a good graphic card, then you don't need to worry about this. Then after this, what you need to do is click Q prompt. As soon as you do that, it will automatically load the model and start creating the image. And finally, based on my prompt, I get an image like this just because I have a low spec computer, the image is like this. And also you can modify the configuration to get a high quality image. You can also try various other models. Then based on the prompt, you should be able to generate image. Now the same prompt, I loaded this from my virtual machine, which is running to A6000 and it is able to create high quality image like this. You can customize these nodes. These are really changeable. I'm going to add a few more steps in a beautiful garden. And then Q prompt. You can see that it's going step by step, the green mark around this. Now it came to the case sampler, UAE decode, and you are able to see the image here. This is really beautiful. And this is my graphic card, two RTX A6000, and it consists of this much amount of RAM. And I'm having my virtual machine from Mast Compute. Use Mervin Prisoner's coupon code for any A6000 or A5000 and get 50% off. The final step I want to show you how you can integrate this with your own application using its API. So here is a basic code. I'll put all the information in the description below. And you can see it's using the flux checkpoint, the height and width of the image. I'm going to change that to 2024. A clip text encoder and saving the image with the image prefix comfy UI. This will get saved in the outputs folder. After that, we are just calling this endpoint with the above prompt. That's it. And the image which we are asking you to generate is masterpiece best quality man. And finally calling the prompt function. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python basic API example and then click enter. Now it got loaded. And if I see the outputs folder here, you can see a new image came just now. And here is the image. This is based on the prompt and the configuration we provided. You can modify the prompt and the settings provided here to get the expected results. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.